Now we are going to study a gynecological case uh, with the history of menorrhagia for the last few months. And uh, because uh, this is the uh, longitudinal section of the uterus, and uh, this is the urinary bladder, cervix, cervical canal, this is the fundus of the uterus, posterior myometrium, material myometrium. This is the uh, cause uh, of uh, this patient's pathology, and it's because yes, if there is a fibroid, large solid echogenic heterogeneous mass with multiple internal tiny calcifications seen relating to the anterior wall, uppermost part of the anterior wall, and measuring approximately 4.7 into 4.3 centimeter, and this is the endometrial canal being pushed downwards by this uh, heterogeneous mass. Now, from transfer section, this is the transfer section of the uterus. Same case, a transfer section, and see the, there are tiny calcifications, multiple tiny calcifications within this heterogeneous mass. This is the mass, I should not say mass, rather it's a fibroid. So this is a short case study of uh, Uterine, anterior wall, anterior wall, uterine fibroid with areas of internal degeneration and necrosis. Now, that's, I, I am focusing the fibroid only. This is the fibroid. Okay. And uh, these cystic areas with equals with them are consistent with uh, internal degeneration or necrosis within this fibroid and uh, this is a magnified view though and you can see there are multiple tiny calcifications the larger one is this so this is a case of uterine fibroid with mass effect on the endometrium this is the endometrial canal and the is being pushed posteriorly by this solid echogenic mass, yeah, fibroid, <coughs> relating to the anterior wall of the uh, uterus. Thank you very much.